Na basi tunaanza na taarifa kwamba taasisi ya mafunzo ya kiufundi kwa wanafunzi wenye mahitaji maalum ya Karen inaweka mikakati kabambe ya kuhakikisha wanafunzi hao wanapata ujuzi wa kutosha na kozi za kuwawezesha kujitegemea maishani. Msimamizi wa taasisi hiyo Tekla Chemobo amesema wanafunzi wanapokea mafunzo katika nyanja mbalimbali mbali zikiwemo sanaa, ujenzi Ushonaji na mbinu za kisasa za unyunyuziaji mimea maji miongoni mwa kozi nyingine. Taasisi hiyo imetoa mafunzo kwa zaidi ya wanafunzi elfu mbili katika nyanja mbalimbali mbali humu nchini. Hillary Okeya okay kutoka kaunti ya Kakamega ana tatizo la kusikia, lakini changamoto hii haikumzuia kuendeleza mafunzo katika kozi ya ujenzi. Trade in the institution and we are in collaboration with the industry and the GIZ government. So we have our students coming here for a period of time, three months, and they go to the industry for another three months and come back. So that way, the students are having first-hand uh, training of what the market requires. Hilary ni miongoni mwa mamia wanafunzi wenye mahitaji maalum wanaoendelea kupokea mafunzo katika taasisi hii ya mafunzo ya kiufundi ya wenye mahitaji maalum iliyoko Karen. Where students must have the practical hands-on skills so that when they go to the labor market they are acceptable they fit in. And especially this kind of students whom we train we realize that it is easier for them in understanding concepts through practical practical assessment practical you know delivery when we deliver the the content practically they they understand it better than when we are doing the, the you know the running the other the best man to be to, to employ is a deaf person especially the deaf you know we have different disabilities where you have the blind and but we train the deaf so the deaf are the best because when it comes to working they concentrate they don't have to hear a sound from somewhere making a lot of noise no as you can see our students are abled differently they are actually hearing impaired and we do not despair because they are hearing impaired they join into the world market and compete favorably if anything they are better workers than the hearing Taasisi hii kwa mujibu wa msimamizi wake Tekla Chemobo inawekeza katika mifumo ya kuhakikisha wanafunzi wenye mahitaji maalum wanapokea ujuzi wa kutosha kuhusiana na teknolojia. The Kenya Kwanza bottom up approach is focusing on these students in terms of us ensuring that we give priority even during admissions to students who are deaf until we have absorbed those that's when we open up for the regular students. Chemobo hata hivyo anasema taasisi hii inawahitaji wa kufunzi zaidi we require enhanced budgetary allocations to support these students especially in training the cbet courses curriculum we require a lot of you know as funding you know the training through practical by acquiring training material and whatever that we have may not be sufficient we will work with what we have but we will also seek to be given enhanced allocations to be able to retain these students tangu kuanzishwa kwake mnamo mwaka 1990 taasisi hii imetoa mafunzo kwa zaidi ya wanafunzi 2000 wenye mahitaji maalum katika nyanja anwai that's 